Hi, I'm Lenore. I'm a singer and a voice teacher. If you want to know what type of singer you are, head on to my website singwell.eu and you can fill in a one minute quiz there and I will be the guide on your vocal journey. And today I'm going to react to one of my favorite singers and creators of all times, Alanis Morissette. This is one of her relatively uh, newer songs. It's called A Blaze. I've already listened to it once, but uh, I'm now going to analyze it also vocally. So uh, let's see how this live show is going. The song A Blaze from her first album in eight years, Such Pretty Forks in the Road, which comes out tomorrow. Here's the one and only Alanis Morissette. She's the one and only. <laughs> First thing that you'll notice is some separation from each other. Yes, it's a lie we've been believing since time immemorial. There was an apple, there was a snake, there was division. There was a split, there was a conflict in the fabric of life. Is it too loud? It's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Um... Mm -mm. So, yeah, um, hmm. If, if Alanis Morissette came to me and asked, you know, to meet me for a lesson, which of course is very likely to happen, I would tell her, so, you want to grab a beer? Because I, I, I have nothing to say. She just, yeah, she is so on it. She is so in control. She has this great voice. It, she's not making any effort. She's just, she's just this powerhouse opening her mouth and this lovely singing is coming out, which is uh, my kind of girl. And um, yeah, I, I, I love this home setting and <laughs> the kid half uh, standing in the way. <laughs> She's looking at the lyrics there. Interesting. It's interesting because I've seen it in the beginning as well. Um, that she's swallowing the lyrics a little bit. Um, and it does compromise the voice a little bit. But in the case of her voice, it doesn't bother me so much. Uh, it's just that sometimes she just closes on space and then you hear a little bit less of the voice. But it sort of works um, with the song itself. So it works with the text for me. Um, and it seems like it's purposefully for the sake of manipulating the voice and the text to sound a certain way. My mission is to keep the light in your eyes ablaze. Hi, Mom. <laughs> okay, okay, this is incredibly cute. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I take back a little bit what I said. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, it's not, hmm, I don't really know how to describe this. She can get away with it, but I wouldn't like recommend to, um, you know, to actively move your head when you're trying to reach a high note. Uh, and yeah, there are all kinds of, of jaw movements that are not necessary. And you could see it when she went up to, to the higher notes that, you know, there was a flip there that might have been on purpose, might have not been on purpose, but I don't think she had the 100% control that she could have had if you had the space open in the first place. Um, so it could just be, you know, that day 
could just be, you know, the fact that she has to hold a toddler in her arms. Believe me, I tried that. It's not, it's not the most freeing thing for your voice in the world. But I'm still loving the song. And the singing. It's a good song. Like, it's almost like she's dancing along to the melody with her head. Uh, I'm like, that wins me over on one hand. On the other hand, it's not the best for the voice. If you keep the car connected to the one that's ready. To my girls, all your innocence and fire when you reach out. That's good. I am here, head or high. There you go. That's good. Okay, this is okay. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be so um, homey. <laughs> uh, I, I, I lied. It's so um, COVID. Huh? Uh, anyway, here, yeah, here she was like getting back on the horse for sure um so yeah she could play around with the flip sometimes you know she could belt it and she was making a lot less gestures with her head by the way i don't know if you noticed there's just she was doing less and achieving more <sighs> sorry, sorry. I, I I shouldn't have stopped here. It's a yeah. We were on a on a roll, but that kind of singing, that kind of voice, I feel it all the way to my belly button when she sings like that. It's really. That's what powerful is, yeah? Just, da, and it's here. Just opening and, and using that um, the twang and using, she is closing her vocal cords really well here. It's just so present and so, yeah. And it is effortless. It's just, it does it for me. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna listen for a while. Yes. Mm -mm. The the lyrics of this song are also so so touching. I, the first time I heard it, I, I almost cried. Is it, whatever she's doing, it's 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 good. I love it. It's working for her. It's working for the performance. It's just very very much in place. And. Um, Whenever it's better, whenever it's like, oh my God, then we have the classic badass face, space between the jaws, you know, stability of the posture, all that good stuff, you know, that all of the good girls and boys uh, singers would do. Um, but yeah, if you're a line more set, you can also not do that sometimes. That's fine. I love the dancing. Family. 
still hear music, still hear music. Keep on singing. Keep going? Well, you can stay. I can stop? Yes. Okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah, my son also tells me when to sing and when to shut up, so I totally relate. Yeah, I, I'm not disappointed whatsoever. Um, I think there's something about the way she approaches singing. I've not heard anyone else do that. Um, and it's difficult to pinpoint exactly what it is, but I think it's just a combination of the amount, quote unquote, of voice that she has. And she has like, this really big, impressive voice. And the different manipulations that she does with it and the fact that she can rough it up uh, sometimes I think uh, but yeah that that was a uh, delicious uh, so yeah that was the end so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one